Hello YouTubers, it's me Brian Ward and welcome to my video. And I do apologize for the background, it's that I have to stay down here because we have to guess upstairs, so I have to use the basement. So anyway, I'm going to do a review on a PlayStation 4 game that recently came out. And that game is called Overwatch. <laughs> so, yes. Overwatch is about $80 and probably $94 in stores, depending on where you live. I didn't want to pay the tax. Who wants to pay taxes? So I decided to get download the game on the PlayStation 4 because I don't want to pay an extra $14, almost going to a $100 game. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got Overwatch on the day it got released. And it took a long time to download, like a long time. But it didn't take a long time for me, I'm just kidding. I played the beta and downloaded, I played the beta and had that downloaded already. All I had to do was pay for the game and it downloaded very quickly. <laughs> so Overwatch is a PvP game, but in this game you only protect a vehicle or attack a vehicle. Like, your team protects this vehicle that's trying to get to different areas of the map, while the other team tries to attack you to prevent the vehicle from going anywhere. So, that's kind of, kind of boring after a while, because yesterday my friend was talking to me about it, saying, is this the only thing you play? And that was his first time playing the other day, saying, Do, can't you play anything else? Is that like capture the flag or fight just each other? Or do you only have to escort this? If you escort this and attack it, then that's boring. I went, uh, you make kind of a good point. I thought you could just fight each other, but apparently you can't. If you have to escort this vehicle, well, you kind of can. Uh, let's just say you can't, because you really can't. <laughs> so that's kind of almost a downfall on it, because... You can't fight each other, just fight each other, or there's no capture the flag or anything like that. You only escort a vehicle. So, yeah. And, and the good thing is, is that there's a lot of heroes in this game. I think there's like 21 or 22, but yeah, there's a lot of heroes. Okay, so I'm going to go to the heroes now. So, here is Tracer. Tracer is on Overwatch, and she is like an attacker, and she is very fast. She can move very quickly to different areas, but she only has three speed boosts that can go pew, pew, pew. And she also has the ability to go back in time, and this ability allows you to gain your health while you, when you get injured, and it's very useful, actually, and... I just have to say that you can't keep using that teleporting speed boost thing. It has a cooldown about like maybe three seconds or something like that. Maybe five. And it has three. You use one, use two, use three, and they come back one at a time. So, yeah. She is very cool. She's very useful. She has two little pistol things that go. <laughs> But they run out of bullets very quickly, and if you want to kill someone, you have to be right head on, like very close to them, and then you have to reload. But there is a technique that you can use, like if you run out of bullets, you do the speed boost and she reloads, and when she's done, you can go after and go pew 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 and all that, so yeah. <laughs> she is very cool, I like her, but the thing I don't really like about her is that her pants. <laughs> They're really tight pants and yeah I don't really really like that that's so revealing <laughs> very revealing but whatever I like her she's the second person I like playing now this is the first person that I like playing this is Mercy she is a supporter she's a healer and she has nice little wings. She looks like an angel. That is why I like her. I like playing her. I like being healers in games. I don't really like fighting, but she is my second resort if 
my team loses. <laughs> her, I like her because she can heal. Oh dang, the thing stopped, but I'll do this and talk about that. Oh, stop it. Okay, so I like her because she looks like he, she looks like an angel and I love being healers in video games and she has wings. Like, she has wings. And she can glide with those wings, and she she can fly. She can fly to your partners, and she has a staff that can heals that heal that has a healing beam, and she has a attack boost beam. The healing beam is yellow. The attack beam is blue, and yeah, and just waiting for that. And she also carries a handgun with her, like a little. BB gun or something like that, and it goes pew 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 pew, but it doesn't do much damage. Well, it does do a lot of damage, but it's very hard to aim with it, and it has 20 bullets. You could kill someone with all those 20 if you're like behind them or something, or if they make a mistake, and I kind of don't recommend using her fire, like her gun, unless you see an enemy with low health, then you can go after them. And she also can revive her allies. She can also revive her allies, which is really cool, but before she can revive a lot of people around the area, but because people say it was cheap, they changed that. So you only can heal a little area around you, like three or four people died around me and I went healing and it only healed like one or two, it didn't heal all four of them. It's like I have to go in, bat in the middle of the battle to heal everyone, so yeah. Okay, so I really like her style, her fashion is really cool, I like it. And her skin is the skin that you unlock for thousand dollars. It's really cool. Not real money, way real money by the way. The in-game money. The only way you can get this money in the game is by loot boxes, and it takes a long time. You get a, one loot box every level. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Goodbye, Tracer. The third person that I like to play as is. Hanzo. Hanzo is really cool. He has really cool ability. His real, his special is really cool. I mean, really, it's cool. He has a bow. He can climb up walls and he, his special, his two abilities is one, you shoot an arrow and it senses enemies around. It turns them red so you can look to see if they're coming or not. His second ability is really cool. You shoot it at the wall and it a whole whack of arrows come out and just <laughs> I keep using that ability and I keep getting a lot of kills with that because I just keep shooting it just if someone's at the corner here and I want to shoot I just shoot the arrow that way and it just <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining it very well so yes he is really cool, and his special is really cool. He shoots his arrow, and this arrow can go through walls, like if there's a whole whack of enemies. If Widowmaker uses her sense ability, who can see everyone that shows everyone on the map, or everyone in front of you. If there's a whole whack of people on the other side of the wall, you can shoot this special arrow, and this arrow can go through the wall and make two dragons ploop. Two blue dragons that can do mega damage and kill all of them if it can, and it's really cool. He is really cool. But his brother, Ren... what's his name? Whatever, I can't figure his name. His brother sucks. He has, like, throwing stars, and people do well with him, but when I try him, I can't even hit people with the throwing stars. So, yes, it is... A cool game, I love it, and I kind of do recommend it, and it is like $80 on the PlayStation 4, but like 94 probably in regular stores, and yes, I really hope they put more stuff into Overwatch, because protecting your vehicle does become boring after a while, I hope there's p actually people versus people without protecting something and all that, and Maybe capture the flag, I don't know how well that will be. I think Tracer will be too overpowered in <laughs> capture the flag. I think everyone would be a Tracer in that. So, yes, I give this game about a 9 out of 10. It is really cool. 
and the heroes are really cool too. Not all of them, but some of them. Especially, you are cool. I like you. You're a healer, and her skin is cool. Yes, yeah, so I do recommend this game, and hopefully you like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and please subscribe, and I will do other game reviews of other PlayStation 4 games, and yes. And I do have to say one thing, that I do have a few YouTubers and people who do comment on my video saying this game sucks, you shouldn't play it, you should play something else. I have to say to those people, I love this game. I paid $80 for this game and I am not going to stop playing this game because you guys don't like me playing this game. I like it. I paid $80 for it and I'm not going to let that money go to waste. So I'm not going to stop playing this game because some of you YouTubers who subscribe to me and other YouTubers don't like the Overwatch videos that I make. Oh, and by the way, I do have Overwatch videos that I upload every time I play the game and I have my, like, you can see me playing in the little box up there and yeah, and hopefully you like my video. Don't forget to comment, like, and please subscribe and go check out those videos too. And I do amazing with Tracer and with her too. <laughs> so, bye. Hopefully you like my little posters right there.